Hey guys, just a quick video today. What I want to cover is actually um, kind of obscure, I guess, but uh, something that somebody had requested sort of in another video comment section. Um, and so today we're going to take a look at how to install Visual Studio on Ubuntu. So right now I've got uh, an Ubuntu uh, virtual machine set up, but you could do this on any place where you've got an Ubuntu desktop set up. Uh, so I guess let's just go ahead, uh, switch camera angles and jump into what we're going to do today. So luckily for us, the folks over at Linux Eyes created a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do this. And honestly, we're just going to follow that. But I know sometimes it's easier to have uh, some visual stuff to kind of go along with what you're doing so you know if you're doing it right or not. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Uh, I will have a link to this article down in the description below uh, so that you can get all of these commands and copy and paste them as you see fit for your purposes. But uh, with all that being said, let's just jump into this. The first thing we're going to need to do is open up a terminal. So we'll go ahead and uh, open that up. Go ahead and click there. <clears throat> And we'll go ahead and drag this over a bit and we'll drag this down a bit. Cool. So uh, basically all we've got to do here um, is uh, kind of scroll through some of this stuff. We'll go through these steps right here uh, where they talk about installing Visual Studio Code on Ubuntu. Now the first thing it says to do here is um, add or install your updates. So we'll go ahead and paste that in. I may have already done this, um, but we'll go ahead and put our password in there and uh, see if there are any updates that we need to install here. Cool, everything is all up to date. So that's a good sign. Uh, that means we can jump into the second part of the first step and we'll paste that in there as well. Um, and we'll go ahead and uh, press enter. And this is just gonna install um, the dependencies and that sort of thing that we're gonna need later on. So it's saying, hey, after this, we're gonna use some additional disk space. Is that okay? We're gonna go ahead and say yes there. Cool, so the dependencies are installed. Now we need to install this uh, GPG key from Microsoft. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll copy that and we'll paste that in and we'll click enter. And now that's done, so that part's easy as well. And we'll want to enable uh, this code repository, so we'll copy that, oops. And we'll go ahead and paste that in there and we'll click enter. We'll give this just a bit here to see what it's gonna do. Cool, so that's done. Now we can uh, go ahead and install code. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click paste, and this may take a little while. Um, it's saying that there's about 200 megs of, of stuff that needs to be downloaded and installed. Um, I've got a fairly quick internet connection here, but um, after having done this in the past, uh, just to test and make sure all of this worked, um, I remember it taking a little bit. Um, so that actually wasn't too bad there. So that's it. That's all we should have to do. So if we come down here and we click basically the start button there, now we've got Visual Studio. We'll go ahead and click on that. And just like that, we've got Visual Studio code enabled. So, so really that's it. If you want to install Visual Studio Code on your Ubuntu uh, setup there, that's all you've got to do. Uh, if you want to update to newest versions, things like that in the future, you know, you can just run sudo apt install update and sudo apt install upgrade, and you should get all of the newest versions for all of that in there. So really that's it. That's all there is to installing Visual Studio Code on Ubuntu. So uh, like I said, super quick video today. If you've got questions, comments, ideas, thoughts on new videos that I can make for this channel, uh, go ahead and put those uh, in the comment section down below. Also, I want to thank you guys for getting me to 4,000 subscribers just this morning. So that was amazing. Really stoked to see that. I posted some stuff on my community tab as well as on Twitter and that sort of thing. Uh, so uh, do me a favor, go over to Twitter and like that tweet. Would mean a ton for me. I'll link that down below as well. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.